Namashivai students, today we will discuss the question and answer that is exercise E of chapter number 17. Question number 1. Describe the course of a river from the mountains to the sea. Answer. Rivers generally flow from the snow-covered mountains or from the highlands which is called its source. It flows through the plains and finally ends up into the sea which is the mouth of the river. In its due course, a river sometimes forms a triangular land made of sand, silt and clay at its mouth known as delta. Next is question number 2. Describe the methods of filtering water for drinking purpose. Answer. Water fit for drinking is called potable water. Water is made portable by boiling and adopting different methods of filtration. Water from the different water bodies is brought in a water purification plant for filtration where after getting filtered, certain chemicals are added to make the water pure. This purified water is then supplied to houses where again we filter that water by various methods. The first one is boiling. Boiling water for 10 to 15 minutes is the best method to kill germs that are present in water. The next one is using filters. Water filters that have a ceramic candle in it or electric filters are used to remove impurities from water. Next is adding chemicals. Adding proper proportionate of iodine or chlorine to water can also make it safe for drinking. Next question number 3. Give two common examples each for evaporation and condensation. For evaporation, sweat from our body that dries due to evaporation. Number 2. Wet clothes dried up when hung in the air. Next, condensation. Dew forms on leaves and export surface in winters. Drops of water collects in the lid of a tiffin box having hot stuff. Next, question number 4. Explain the water cycle. Support your answer with a diagram. Answer. Water from oceans, seas, rivers and lakes get evaporated by the heat of the sun and changes into water vapor. This water vapor rises high and comes in contact with the cold air and changes into tiny drops of water. These drops of water stick together to form clouds. When these clouds become heavy due to drops of water, they burst and fall down on the earth surface in the form of rain. Rain fills the water bodies and the ever process again continues which is called water cycle. For the diagram students, you can take the help of this picture or the picture that is given in your book in the very first page after the content or the picture that has discussed in part 3 video related to water cycle. You can take the help of any of these three pictures and do the diagram in your copy. Next is question number five. Suggest five ways of conserving water at home. Answer. We must conserve water at home in the following way. Number one, close the tap while brushing your teeth. Repair leaking taps and pipes. Use a water in a bucket to wash your vehicles. Use a fixed quantity of water for cleaning utensils. Watering plants before sunrise and after sunset to prevent water from evaporating first. Students, these are the five questions and answers that you have to do from this chapter in your copy. Finish doing this exercise in your copy. In our next class when we will meet, we will start with a new chapter. Till then... Namashivai.